Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here. Welcome to my review for the Power Rangers Beast Morphers Striker Morpher Blaster. This is the main morpher used by the Gold and Silver Rangers. They decided to go in a bit of a different direction for this and make it a part of the nerf line. If you recall, the Cheetah Blaster that they used in the Megazord was in the nerf line. And they decided to make this a nerf gun, and at the moment it seems like this is our primary release. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it doesn't look the greatest, let's be honest, even for like a nerf gun. I mean, I'm sure kids will still like this. Kids will still have fun with this, I'm absolutely sure. But I don't think it looks the greatest, and I think the only reason, or one of the reasons I'm a little more harsh on it look-wise, is because the Cheetah Blaster actually looked pretty good. Like, in addition to it being a Nerf Blaster, obviously it wasn't size accurate, or completely at least, but it looked pretty good. Like, I like the way it looks on the shelf. I thought it looked pretty solid. It had a nice finish to it. But this has that weird, like, banana boat color. It's, I think it would be cooler for kids even as a Nerf Blaster if it was just gold. But let's talk more about that in a second. So overall, this is what you get. It's a pretty decent size, which is nice. I think maybe even semi-show accurate in terms of scale. It's only in the gun mode, really. You can't put it up in the cell phone mode, which I'll show off for the Japanese version in a second. You can move the little scope out so you can sort of like, you know, fake look through it like you're aiming, and you can twist it around and stuff like that, and it comes off of this little hinge. So that's still there. You do have the little number pad here, but it's just like strictly a sticker that's on here. Same thing for here. There's no buttons on the Japanese version either, but this looks extra kind of ridiculous. Uh, down here you have these two loops, which obviously weren't in the regular version, where you can uh, store the other darts, which I guess is kind of nice. It also helps it stay up straight, so it kind of creates like a little kickstand for it, which is kind of neat. Here's the little lever for, you know, getting the nerf activated. That sounded like a weird way of putting it. Getting the nerf activated. You know how it is. And I already got one in the chamber here, so let's go ahead and crank it up, and then shkibit! There we go. So it's pretty good. Like, it's got a pretty long range. Uh, it's got pretty good power, so that's kind of nice. Again, it's like a little, you know, sidearm nerf gun. It works well. This is definitely kind of an eyesore sticking out of it, like, there, but... Yeah, it works well. Obviously, you get three of them. This has no lights, no sounds, and... Let's see, where, nowhere to put the key. Where do you... Is that where you put the key? Is that where you put the key? Is that where you put the... There's nowhere to put the key. So this has no lights and sounds of any kind, not even a fake way of using the ranger key in it, which is very disappointing. I keep calling it a ranger key. I feel like that's just my default of any key-based theme. Um, so here it is next to, this is the Japanese version. Obviously, it's a totally different type of toy since this is a Nerf gun type toy. This is a full-on, like, traditional changer. And, you know, is this the button? Yeah, then you can fold it up into its little sword mode. Sword mode. Look at this sword. I always like to call people on my sword. Just, you know, it's a little phone mode, and then it pops out like that. This is still there, though. You have the different um, buttons, which look a little, about, little bot better. A little bot better. The little bot steel. Sorry, I called you a little bot. But, so that's a similar feature, I guess. There's nowhere to put the Morphex keys on here, either, because that didn't exist in the show. But this one, obviously, you know, has sounds. And this one also had some voice activating features and stuff like that. I'll put a link a couple places during this review to the Japanese uh, review. I mean, my review of it. I'm not speaking Japanese in it, but so you can take a look at it. So obviously key differences here. And here's the thing. I don't mind them having a nerf release for this. I think it's kind of a cool idea. I think kids will like it. But just in terms of the nerf release, not even talking about it as a morpher, I think they should have tried to make it look a little bit better gold-wise. Especially since, like, that's the way it looks in the show. I think... People will enjoy it more if it looks a little bit cooler like it did in the show instead of this weird banana boat color. So keep everything the way it is. It's just a fun Nerf gun for kids. Just make the paint look a little bit better so it doesn't look so cheap. Again, I only bring that up because the other one did look good. And I think that it should be that same quality. So just as a Nerf, it's very fine just for kids. But I would recommend the Cheetah one because it just looks a lot cooler, it looks a lot more like the show, it's just overall a better Nerf toy. But in terms of it being a Morpher, I think it's a real shame that this is the only Morpher release we have at the moment. And apparently someone asked Hasbro at Comic-Con recently, and right now this is the only planned release for the Striker Morpher. I don't think it's entirely impossible, we might not see one in Season, or we could maybe see one in Season 2. When they do the Series 2 toys, we could see a regular release. But for now, I think it's disappointing. Not the fact that they decided to do a Nerf release, because again, I think there's some appeal there, and I like that partnership, but I don't know why we haven't gotten real Six Ranger Morphers for a while. Bandai had the same problem with it, where they did those, like, halfway releases that weren't full Morpher releases, and the Six Ranger ones always got 
nerfed, for lack of a better term. There was a couple okay ones, but I don't know why they're against doing six ranger changers. That used to be one of the most exciting things that me and my friends bought when we were little, compared to like, or next to when the main morphers came out, you'd be like, oh man, the six rangers morphers out, and now we don't have one. So overall, I would give this thing a pass. I don't think it's that great for collectors, and if you're looking for it for a kid or you are a kid, I think the Cheetah Blaster is a lot cooler of a nerf option. Anyway, that's about it for this one. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to climb the steps and ring that bell to get notifications from my videos. Until next time, Dawson Ryder, signing out.